In Vanilla Blender, to switch between certain views, you either need to change the camera manually, then often switch the world and tweak the settings again and again if you for example want to have a different aspect ratio or something. You can also simply use separate Blender scenes for that, but for more complex projects, switching between scenes can get very problematic and can be just slow. So we've created Polyviews to do all those operations easily within a single Blender scene so there is no more mess doing the multiple renders anymore. My name is Kamil and in this video I will present you the features of our very latest add-on so you could see how easy and effortless that is to manage your scenes in Blender. With Polyviews you can save your views with the specific worlds and enabled collections assigned to it. Use global render settings or setup resolution sampling and even more for each of the views. And then, in the very end, you can just press one button and enjoy your coffee watching all the views being rendered and saved without any more action required. Sounds good already? Let's see what does it look like in practice. Saving views. This is the most important feature of polyviews. You can save the view from the currently active camera or just from the current viewport angle with the world and currently enabled collections assigned to it. Then, when you press the button to switch back to this view, the collection state and the world will be set back automatically. You can save just as many views as you need, so you can test multiple camera angles or lighting without restoring any settings by hand. Just press on the view's name to switch to it and load its camera, world and collection settings. And a few more words about collections. By saving the views, you also assign the enabled or disabled collection state for each of them, so you don't have to switch the visible or invisible objects each time when switching the view. This is quite useful feature when you have any objects that shouldn't be enabled in all of your views. Let's now talk about the render settings. By the default, when Polyviews is enabled, rendering will be using its global render settings, which can be found on the bottom of the Polyviews panel. The settings will be like applied to all freshly created views. But what if you want to have different settings for some specific views? That's fairly easy. Just open the view settings by pressing the gear icon and unmark use global settings. Then set up the unique render settings for this view and that's all. Whenever you will switch to this view, the global or custom view settings will be automatically applied. This feature is especially useful if you want, for example, to use a different sampling or completely different resolution for a specific view. Besides storing static views, Polyviews add-on can be also used for storing simple animations with custom start and frame, different cameras or different worlds for each of them. So basically you can create a multi-camera animation and render each of those separate clips really easily, without the need of adjusting settings manually each time when you switch the camera. In the very end, when you have your views or animations saved, you can simply add the selected views to the render queue or render all the enabled images just by pressing this one large button here. Images will be rendered and auto-saved in specified format under the specified file path one by one with their custom settings and without no more action required. We've also provided several extra features that make the add-on usage even more comfortable. You can assign your views to the groups, so if you will use a lot of views in one scene, they can be easily found and accessed and only the views from the specific group will be rendered with batch or queue render. The add-on also supports saving all the enabled render passes for each view. Polyviews were designed and developed when we were working on the actual commercial Harkvis projects, to make the management easier and suited to our work style. The goal was to make it simple, so it doesn't require tons of configuration or settings. And the overall workflow became much much easier for us and already saved us tons of time. It was also useful when we were getting back to some older projects so we didn't have to remind which cameras were used for the views that we needed to update. The add-on found out to be very useful also for the product rendering when we were visualizing multiple product variants in one Blender file. So to sum up, we've developed the add-on that actually became even more practical and functional than we've expected. We are happy to share it with you to make your workflow also easier. If you liked Polyviews, you can already get it from Blender Market. You can find the link in the description. Also, if you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Until the next time!